having your morning coffee um, when you own a dog rescue. I have four little faces watching me drink it. Cats everywhere also. Are you gonna join us? The two newest rescues, they've been rather nervous. And even for a well-adjusted cat, any place can be really scary and some of them will basically go into hiding for gosh, weeks, months. But look at these boys, they've only been out of their safe little cat room where I kept them the first week for a day. I released them yesterday. And even last night, they were starting to be brave. And now look at them. We're just sitting in the living room having coffee. I'm so happy right now. Everyone seems to, have to love it here, which is what I really wanted. Not me, but for the pets to love it. <coughs> I'm choking. And a <coughs> tortilla chip. Oh, it's like a little circle of sleepy, fat, happy animal. Oh, are you getting up? Yeah, gonna eat some more? Fat, sleepy, happy animals. Hmm. You guys do? Hi. Okay, late night potty. Yeah, go potty, go potty, go potty. I know it's really exciting, but we have to be quiet. You have such a big yard. Hey, Claire Bear, did you go potty? It's kind of cold out tonight. Oh, this nice big yard, and it's so... Oh, I can hear a goat. They're so close now. Oh, I love it. And it's so well lit. And I'm adding even more <laughs> spotlights and floodlights. Because if anybody has a farm, they know. Just because the sun goes down doesn't mean that you are done being outside and working and keeping an eye on animals and whatever else. So, spotlights everywhere. Huh. Come on, girls. What? You already know this is where you live and you're ready to go inside? What are you doing? Excuse me. Hey, you're making a mess. You're insane. Well, a mess because... I'm unpacking, but I love that I walk in the living room and we have two cats and a dog here. TV there that needs to be mounted uh, and a dog bed. And then one, two, two more cats here and two more dogs. Everybody's just relaxing, huh? Yeah. And these two, Gomez, the little feral kitten was so afraid was so afraid of Pip. Hmm. Now look at him sharing a couch. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna have black cat hair all over everything. It's great. We having fun in the rain. I'm awful cold, but you guys are just loving it. So here we are in the rain, running around, drinking from mud puddles when there are three water bowls. Does it taste good? Hi, what's everybody doing? Look at her little ears. Have you ever seen such tiny ears in your whole life? But itty bitty. Excuse you. <laughs> this is my crew. You're such a jerk. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what that yelping, crying, horribly distraught dog noises in the background of all my videos? He's a highly anxious dog. He does not like to be separated by even a foot. Oh, hi, everyone. Yeah, I know, Brody. I'm coming back. That's what it is. He's, he's not being tortured, even though it sounds like it. He just can't survive without people right near him. Poor old man. Hello. 
We're happy and we're jumpy. Oh. My baby girl. She's the only one that's not mad at me for making a move, huh? Everyone else is attacking me. It's so funny. It's actually terrifying. So as much as I absolutely love moments like this with my birds in the house with me, I'm reminded of why I was inspired to give them their own house to start because... There's so many dangers in here. Yeah, I can't have anything that smells good. Basically, I had to unplug all my wall plugs and I can't light any candles, incense, nothing like that. I'm also really paranoid about other things like microwaves, dryers, <laughs> things that I haven't necessarily heard are a problem, but still they're just so sensitive that I'd rather not risk it. I can't use any nonstick cookware, blow dryer, um, any of my like heated hair styling products I stay away from. Um, so curling irons and things, but their house is not going to be ready for maybe a week. Uh, so until then, yeah, hey, until then you do get to stay inside with mom, right? And I just have to be extra, extra careful. Ridiculous. You, the best of friends, and it's so cute, and I can't stop photographing it. And I'm sorry if everybody's really tired of seeing them, but they're so cute. They're so cute. They love each other. They love each other so much. You too. You're always there. Hmm. I feel like my attempt at stopping the cats from pooping and peeing my plants. I have cardboard. I'm recycling. Cardboard and all the plants. It's really attractive. Hi, lazy. Even hair clumps. He is so curious. What is that? <laughs> You're the cutest mimu in the world. You know that? Oh, bye. You're melty. This head scratches, huh? You're the cutest. Hi. Most helpful emu in the whole world. These are some happy ponies. I am sitting in the grass right now. Just a second. Because I love watching them be happy. We got the mules over here. Barbie! Barbie and Bilbo. Poor little Claire in her diaper. She's not allowed loose in the house unless she's wearing a diaper, which she doesn't seem to care about. For anyone who doesn't know her story, uh, I found her as a stray. She definitely had an owner at one point. Um, she's certainly trained as a hunting dog and um, her teeth had all been filed down, not obviously by a vet, um, but by her previous owner. I've been told that people will do that with hunting dogs so that when they retrieve something, they don't puncture it with their teeth. But basically, um, all of her teeth are destroyed and the nerve endings are damaged. Just her mouth is a mess, but she is actually the sweetest dog in the entire world. Um, but when I found her, she had a huge tumor also. She would definitely been used for breeding and she had a huge tumor that uh, had been pressing against her bladder for probably several years and uh, we had it removed. Unfortunately, it's kind of done permanent damage and so she cannot hold, yeah, cannot hold her pee at all. Um, so we wear diapers. Hmm. <laughs> oh, sweet girl. Uh, didn't really anticipate I would be 
diapering and doing diaper laundry and things like that until I had kids, but you know. Rescue dog life. Huh, sweet girl. Yeah, me the best. Why? Me so sad. Oh, there's a Pippin. You jealous? He burped. Nice. Nice. Me sweet girl. <laughs> there's this little girl. Huh, who's just cold. Oh, hi. Well, I was going to show how rainy and gross it is, but apparently Theo's watching me. My little stalker. I didn't even know he's back there. Uh, it's really rainy and gross out. Cats don't want to come in. They just want to sit on the porch. But this little girl, yeah, she's in her little jumpsuit hoodie. Brody has a matching one on right now. Hmm. So basically I wake up in the morning and I dress two of my dogs in clothes and then I put another one in a diaper and it's actually like I have children. <laughs> Everyone gets their breakfast and their medicine. Oh. Hi, pigs. Scarlet. Pig, 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 pig. You guys so happy. So much to eat. For anyone wondering um, how long this pig pen was gonna stay nice and beautiful and green this lasted about two days <laughs> i gave them a week i thought they would at least maintain it that long but um no they had the best time of their lives rooting it up so from here on out all pig pen photos will be <laughs> a muddy disgusting mess and that's because they like it that way this, this means they're happy pigs. It's just not as photographically appealing. Sometimes I overflow the water on purpose because these two absolutely love to roll around in it. You're not ducks or swans, you know, you emus. I can't swim. 